So welcome to the 145 show at Joe. And uh, before we get started, I would just like to ask you to turn off all cell phones and noise making beepers and I know beepers are like so fucking 90s, but turn them off anyway. <laughs> and uh, if you feel on the show you want to nosh, there's plenty of good stuff back there. And you know, please remember your counter people because they're going to work hard for you and because I get half of their tips. <laughs> so, all right, I gotta tell you, I'm a little ticked off tonight because I just had a birthday this week. But <laughs> really, don't applaud because it's kind of getting older. It's a whole process, and getting older to me is kind of like letting go of all those things that seemed really good when you were younger. But you know, when you get older, things have changed. Like all that shit we used to eat when we were kids, <laughs> chica sticks, and remember Fun Dip, the bar of sugar <laughs> you dipped into powdered sugar, yeah. and then monster cereals. Remember that shit? Count Chocula was my favorite monster cereal. There you go. You know, but you know, at the time it was just the breakfast of champions to me, and you know now, now I kind of just see a big box of diabetes. <laughs> and that special prize should be 50 cc's of insulin in every box. Monster cereals. You know, it's Oreos or something that I've started to view different. Well, actually, I still eat Oreos. Who eat? You know, Oreo fans? But then Oreos themselves have changed, haven't they? Because yes. now they have the, the double stuff with yep. twice the cream, right? Yep. And let me ask you, who eats the single stuff Oreos anymore? <laughs> I mean, seriously. You know, isn't eating a single stuff Oreo like having sex and being like, well, oh, I'll put my dick in there, but I won't need that orgasm. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and you know, I think that movies are kind of like that too. I saw The Empire Strikes Back in the theater when it was released in like 1980 or whatever. You know, and at the time I was like, Yoda's 800 years old? Like, what a Jedi, right? You know, and now I, when I see that movie, I'm just like, 800 years. His 401k <laughs> must be incredible. <laughs> Now, I know someone out there right now is thinking like, uh, the Jedi Council was non-profit. <laughs> so Yoda had a 403B. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> That's also true. So, uh, you know, I have to tell you, one thing about having your own show is that you can do whatever the fuck you want with the wire. I played a show in Pottstown, they taped the wire to the floor, like here. So, I could just do this. So I was like one of those dogs outside the wall that people reach while they get cigarettes. And I was like, please laugh at me. I mean, the dog doesn't say that. But. So, it, sex is something that you view differently as you get older, isn't it? Because when you know, I was a teenager, sex was something that I, I thought about and I joked about, but you know, I, I never actually did. But, uh, yeah, then when I became an adult, I, uh... <laughs> anyway, getting older. Politics change as you get older. And, you know, before I go on, you guys watching those debates, the presidential debates? Anyone? Yeah. Oh, I hear groans. I guess somebody is. <laughs> I've been watching them too, which is kind of unusual for me, because I think that looking at the debates, kind of like watching Muppets jerk off. <laughs> you know, like, there's a lot of funny sounds and the fur flies. <laughs> you know, but in the end, nothing is going to come out. <laughs> I don't know that from personal experience. So, but you know, I, you know, I used to be, I mean, I used to be a liberal and a democrat, and I, I was proud of it, right? And I'm still a liberal and a democrat, um, but I'm kind of less proud. Because the older I get, the more I realize that voting for a democrat 
is kind of like fucking somebody you feel sorry for. <laughs> you know, because you feel noble at the time, but you always regret that later. And that person never stops calling you. <laughs> I'm still like, no, John Kerry, I told you. <laughs> just that one time, I just wanted to make you feel better. <laughs> It still doesn't leave me alone. <laughs> and the older I get, the worse of a liberal that I get. Do we have liberals here? I know some of you. Yes, <laughs> Maybe I should have asked if we have any conservatives here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so I'm a bad liberal because, you know, when there's tofu on the menu, I'll usually eat meat. When there's an eco-friendly bus, I'll usually drive. When there's a crime, I'll sometimes blame the criminal. <laughs> <laughs> but being a liberal, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to be a liberal. Because liberalism is all about guilt, right? <laughs> Whatever is going wrong, it's your fault. It's yours, and it's yours, and mine. It's everyone's fault, right? Like, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, the environment, or animal rights, or corporate abuse, or whether the fucking zoo pandas in China got pregnant. It is your fault. And I'm always susceptible to guilt. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm always susceptible to guilt, because it's just kind of the way, you know, remember Jaws, that movie Jaws at the end, and Roy Scheider shoots the shark and it explodes? You know, I saw that in the theater. I was, of course, two years old at the time. And, you know, everyone in the theater was like, yeah, get that shark! And I'm just like, mm, poor little guy. All he wanted to do was murderously terrorize a beachfront community. So it's guilt. It's all guilt liberalism. And, you know, I realized how bad a liberal I had become the first time I went to San Francisco. Obama. That is the mother load of liberalism. And everybody there is, they're angry about this, or they're protesting that. It doesn't matter what it is. And when I was out there, I was going to a Barnes & Noble, right? Which was my mistake. I needed to go to like Molly's Medieval English Lesbian Bookstore or whatever. <laughs> but I went to Barnes & Noble. Because I had a better chance of getting cruised in the bathroom now. <laughs> I actually don't know much about getting about that. There's a whole cruising code in the bathrooms. Have you heard that? No, I'm not a Republican, so I don't know it. Oh. <laughs> it's true. So no, so I, I crossed this picket line to go into this Barnes and Noble, right? And one of the protesters was like, "Corporate whore, corporate whore." Which was really hurtful because, you know, that was the first time I'd ever been called corporate. <laughs> and even the restaurants out there, there's like all this liberal bullshit going on as all the customers try to one-up each other. You know, they'll be like asking the servers, hey, is this food organic, locally grown? Is it grass-fed? Free trade? Fair trade? You know, I'm just like, uh, you know, if that burger's been on the floor for less than three minutes, <laughs> bring it on, baby. <laughs> So, and you know, I think that liberalism has reached its unbridled worst. Have you ever heard of the Freegans? Not the vegans. Freegans. F-R-E. -E. I just read about this. It's crazy. These are people who, you know, they want to leave as small an imprint on the environment as possible. So they dumpster dive for furniture and clothing and household items and food. Oh yeah. They dumpster dive or food. Now, I'm as concerned about the environment as anybody else, but if I want trash in my mouth, I'm just going to go back to dating. 